most of these cars outside are 68 67 cars um, they've been here for a long time anything in this video any cars that you see um, they're all for sale the owner is retiring and if you're interested in buying some of these cars you can get a hold of me at info at backyardbarnfinds.com but you can see here that we just have a 67 Camaro stacked on top of a 68 Camaro and it's a little bit difficult to get back in here but it just it just keeps going you got a, a 69 Camaro on the floor down here looks like it was sold new at uh, Jim Reed Nashville and we have a little treat for you guys because he does have some extremely rare Camaros and we'll get to those in just a minute you can see here there's a, just a 69 camaro and the way i can tell is just you can tell by the taillights from the back here um it's not a rs car or anything uh no it's not otherwise it would have the stamp right here for the the taillights and then this is a looks like a 68 or a 67. um and I, I mean we just it just it doesn't stop this is a uh let me get up here and You can see here that we have another Camaro and it actually has Mustang Mach 1 seats in it. And the reason I know that is because they're black and they have the red stripe right here. Uh, definitely not original to this car. You can also see that, I mean, they're just, it's, it's truly unbelievable the amount of Camaros that are here. Um, looks like that might be a Firebird back down there. Um, but we'll go out and uh, we'll get out of the weeds here and take a look at some cars that you can get a better, better visual of. Um, he's got a couple Chevelles. There's 45 acres of cars here, um, and it just it just it doesn't end. I don't I don't know what to say. It's just this is this is incredible. So this is actually a, a '67 Firebird, um, and the reason we can tell it's a '67 is because it does have uh, the six and the seven right here starting out. Um, but what I want to talk about is a lot of people. Uh, they get 68, 69 Camaros and 67 Camaros confused. And the best way to be able to tell a 67 Camaro is this car right here on the door. Or the, it has a, a window um, in the front that, that pops out. And that, that's how you're able to tell a 67 between a 68 right away. Also, of course, the front grille is a little bit different. They're, com they're different cars, but... Um, that's just a pretty a pretty quick way you can tell. So not only does uh, this junkyard have Camaros, it also has a, a plethora of Chevelles as well. Now this is actually a 69, and if we go to the front of this car, uh, we can we can find out how it's a 69. Um, we are actually going to do a series on Chevelles on the channel coming up, um, and if that's something that you're interested in learning Chevelles specifically um, one year at a time, we're going to do a video each on each year. Um, consider subscribing to the channel um, but follow me around here this is actually a either a GTO or a Le Mans a 66 this car does have a, a super sport badge on the rear end as we noticed um, but if we look at the tag here uh, we can see that it is a, a 60 a 69 if you can come in close here we'll we'll show here um, it is it is a 69 and then the first three digits are 136 uh, which means that it is just a regular Chevelle it's not a not a super sport car or anything like that so we come back here and there's just Chevelles and Camaros thrown all over the place here um, but this is this is a 70 you can see here on this one as well you know it does say 70 on the tag here uh, uh, it's also just a regular 70 Chevelle 136 car um, but we'll get to those in, in, in a future video I mean yeah we just have half of 69 RS cars just kind of laying around the field here of the lot we can see that obviously it's a hideaway headlight car but I want to show you how these things operated you know and these these actually kind of this one's a little bit frozen but they they flipped back and forth and they were operated by vacuum and the vacuum canister is is right here and then all the plumbing kind of just ran back to where basically you could hit the switch inside and open and close the headlights for the car but we'll go inside um, there is a pace car inside we'll, we'll talk about that here for a little bit so you can learn how to tell if you have a pace car at home so this is just one of the buildings that we have here on the property we can see here that 
This looks like we have a, a 69 uh, Chevelle. Um, it does, it is just a, a regular 136 car, uh, but it does actually have uh, a big block in here. But more importantly, uh, we're gonna talk about the Camaro back here in the corner. It looks like we have a, a 71 or 70, looks like a GTO on the trunk lid there. And then we also have a, uh, a 69 Firebird here. But the car that I wanted to explain to you guys about is, is this car right here. And it is, it is covered um, by a lot of stuff. And this is gonna be the actual pace car that we talked about in the beginning of that video. And I'll show you how we know that. So first of all, starting out, um, the tail pan on this car, I believe was actually replaced. Not that big of a deal, um, but it was done correct. It has the correct uh, RS um, taillights, which were found on pace cars. Um, this tail pan would have actually been painted white um, from the factory because on an SS car, which Z11 cars were super sport cars, and they were also hideaway headlight rally sport cars, and super sport cars had a blacked out tail pan. On these cars, they were actually white, as well as the sill plate or the sill panel on the bottom uh, was white as well. Now, moving forward, um, they made two different type of pace cars. They made a, a Z11, which was a convertible, and they also made a, a Z10, which was a hard top. Um, the Z11s are the more common car to find. Um, they made about 200 to 500, there's only 200 known uh, Z10s, and they were for the, the Midwest dealers. They were only sold in the Midwest um, back in 1969. Moving forward here, uh, this car we can tell was originally painted white, uh, which would be correct. We can see here that the white paint um, is the original paint. It's still on the car here. There's no paint underneath. It hasn't been reworked or anything like that. And these cars were very, very highly optioned, meaning like this car we can tell it has air conditioning right here. It, it's an SS car. Um, I believe it's a uh, just a 350 car. And the reason I'm saying that is because it does have the the dual fuel lines, it has the sending line and the return line. If this was a big block car, which they did come with, uh, did come with the 350 or the 396, uh, the 396 would, would only have the, the one fuel line. Uh, more importantly though, this car does have the disc brakes, which would have been correct for an SS car. Um, but what really, really confirms this as a Z11 for me, uh, the owner does say that he has the Cal tag. It would have been located right here. Um, it's not present. Um, but we can see that over here by the hidden VIN, it has the white, the white paint with the orange rally stripe or the Z28 stripe, which is the only other 69 Camaro that came from the factory uh, with stripes on it other than a Z28. Now, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, maybe I can switch angles with my camera person here. Um, but what I want to talk about is this car does have if we look at the fuse box right here it does have the vacuum hole the one inch vacuum hole over here for the hideaway headlights see here yeah it does have the one inch vacuum hole for the for the hideaway headlights um, but also not only that it has the hole for the cow hood z11s came with cow hoods and this is actually the 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 wiring for the cow hood both are right next to each other um, and that with the paint, the AC, um, the disc brakes, the dual fuel lines, um, all, all the signs are here for this car to be uh, a Z11 car from the factory. These cars were actually probably the most loaded Camaros from the factory. And this car does have the tilt wheel in it. It does have the, the tack and the dash over here, even though this car was an automatic. Um, it does have the custom interior with the wood grain um, on on the the cow or on the dash here, and it would have had a rosewood steering wheel from the factory. Also, um, they would have came with the orange houndstooth interior. Um, they are the only Camaros that actually were convertibles that had houndstooth interior. And if it was a Z10 car, remember Z10 being the hardtop version, um, those cars are actually not known. Uh, for having orange interiors. There's about five different combinations that are known, um, but they did not have orange in them. Now, just to go over a little bit more Z11 facts for you, um, they actually made 3,675 of them 
Um, they were all replicas of the two Z11 convertibles that were at the Indy, Indy race in 1969. The cars that were actually at the race, they were 396, 375 horsepower cars. They were L89s. Um, they had the aluminum block engine, or the aluminum heads, not the block, my apologies. Um, and they were both automatic cars. Um, originally, Chevrolet planned to sell 6,400 of these cars, one for each dealer in the United States, um, but they actually only sold just under 4,000 of them. Um, these are probably one of the rarest Camaros that you could possibly find other than Copo cars or anything like that. They made 12,000 um, Z28s, but they only made 3,000 of these. So pretty, pretty hard car to find. And a lot of people don't realize that the decals that were on the sides of the pace cars uh, were actually either installed by the dealer or by the customer themselves and they came in the trunk of the car. This car is for sale. Um, the owner is asking around $40,000 for this car and if it's something that you're interested in, uh, just get in contact with us. All right, so we're in the second building here. We'll come in this way. There's a couple Camaros here. We do have a, looks like we have a Cutlass. I was told that uh, this car on the lift here of course it's a 69 Camaro um, is a X77 Z car unfortunately a lot of pieces on this car have been replaced I haven't been able to verify that it is a Z car yet uh, but more importantly we do have um, what looks to be like a big block Camaro on this side and I'll show you this is actually a, a, a fathom green car uh, big block car we'll show you that on the tags and we'll go over that here in a second it also um, does have the the cutouts um, for the RS uh, taillights back here on both sides they're a little bit easier to see than the other car that we were talking about the pace car um, and what I meant by that is there was two taillights available on a 69 Camaro there was just the regular taillights that were red and they actually have a little white reverse light in them um, but the RS cars were just a different car totally um, and they had the reverse lights located down here we come this way we'll go to the actual front of this car this was an automatic car um, we can see here on the VIN number um, this one doesn't have the windshield so it's pretty easy to tell um, it is a one two four three which means that it was a, a V8 car from the factory but more importantly um, we were talking about RS holes and um, a lot of a lot of people aren't sure whether they had an RS car from the factory or not, but this is a, a pretty pretty easy way to tell. Um, right here on the right here where the fuse box is, okay, you can see that it still has its vacuum hoses for the RS headlights, and you can see how um, it has one for each side, and it, they come out right here on on the cow. Um, it's about a one inch hole um, in 68 and 69 the RS headlights look just like this and you can see that the the hoses are still in the correct location um, this was a big block car and we know that because it does have the correct cow tag on it here um, it does have the x22 we can see if we can get in there um, see it has the x22 which would have been a 396 from the factory um, it does have the, the 57 on the, si on the bottom of the car and 57 over here, which means that it wasn't a vinyl top or anything like that. It was just a complete fathom green car, um, and it did have um, green interior. It's kind of hard to see the whole thing. Um, this car does look like it... No, it didn't, it didn't have AC. Um, it doesn't have the, the fuel lines on the car, so I'm not sure right off the top whether it was the 375 horse or the 325 uh, we can determine that with a little bit more time with the car um, but overall it's a pretty rare car this car could be for sale um, if the number was right again if you're interested in purchasing this car you can contact us at back info at backyardbarnfinds.com so the Camaro that was on the lift, uh, after taking a look at that car, we, we were able to determine it was a real uh, Z28, and we actually do have the cow tag for this car. Um, we can see that it is a, a Fathom green car also, 57, 57, upper green, lower green. It also did have the, the green interior. Um, but the most important part is this number right here, and this is how we can confirm that it is a Z. Um, and it does have the X code, X77, 
And then the D80 was the RPO code uh, for the front spoiler on that car. This car was actually built before the spoilers were mandated and the spoiler was optional. Um, and the way that they show that on this car is with the, the D80 RPO code. If you wanna see more things like this, more Camaro knowledge, Chevelle knowledge, please like and subscribe to the channel. Again, my name is Parker with Backyard Barn Finds. Have a great day.